What's up, YouTube? Tapping in really quickly, guys. You know it's Sunday. You know how we do each and every Sunday, man. A little quick pep talk before market open on Monday. I might try to circle back later on tonight for my late night go-getters, though, just to tap in again. But listen, guys, news just in. I told you guys, get in the habit of checking the futures every night at 6 p.m. Eastern time. You correlate that to wherever you at, guys, okay? And then you want to check it again in the morning to see has anything changed overnight while you guys might have been sleeping, okay? Now, already the market is set to be down 300 points, aka crash for many of your stocks, okay? You guys got to know the correlation with that. So you're going to wake up in the morning, your portfolio is going to be down and all your stocks will be down, okay? We know these type of things because the futures tell us what the market is going to do for the future. The future will be tomorrow, okay? But mind you, you don't go off that solely because things can change overnight. And then whether some decisions were made, some meetings were had, things coming down the pipe, then things may change by time market opens, okay? So you always got to be nimble in this game. If you're stuck in the sand, guys, you're going to see this market run right past you. You're going to think your plays is up, then they'll be down. You will see plays down 300 points, then all of a sudden they'll be up 700 points. It's just the nature of the beast. That's why I often say consistently, you guys gotta have a trading plan. You guys gotta have your core plays. You guys gotta know how to invest during certain climates and certain environments of the stock market. But listen to this, guys. With things that's going on, we still are going to have more volatility, but more importantly, the volatility is due to uncertainty, okay? The uncertainty is what's really the, the real issue here. And because of that, you guys are gonna to continue to see plays go down. I'm talking about individual stocks, high growth stocks, anything like that. Any company that's not making money right now, any company that's supposed to be the stuff in the future, all of that stuff gonna be down today, okay? That's just how the market works. Don't panic, but you got to understand that information, okay? Now, here's what I need you guys to know and or to be mindful of. Your oil, your energy, commodities in general, okay? Commodities in general, I'm talking about. I talked to you guys about wheat over the weekend, okay? For example, I talked to you guys about fertilizer over the weekend. And if you guys haven't please make sure you tap into those videos because I, as I often say, those are meant to prepare you for the upcoming week. It will be the plays that's going to pop in the current week. Yeah, we got all that other stuff, Apple, NVIDIA, Palantir, Chart. We have that, but that's just to build you out, okay? There's other things that's going to be moving and grooving, shaking and baking that you guys need to make sure you're abreast of because of the market sentiment, okay? We have to be flexible and nimble while still keeping your core, your long-term stuff intact, okay? You don't ever abandon that. You don't ever sell like y'all see all the YouTubers doing and just people in the finance space in general. You don't do that, okay? There's times to do that, whether you're cutting a loss or whether you are taking in profit, but there's a way that has to be done to properly mitigate losses and to set yourself up for really great gains in the long run. With that being said, and neither here nor there, Check this out, guys. A few things in addition to what I've already talked to you guys about this past weekend, plays like Cleveland Cliffs. Guys, you already know Exxon Mobil, but I wanna talk to you guys about things like Oxy Petroleum, or Occidental Petroleum, I should say. These are some of the things that due to the market conditions, you will see these be the things that take off. I want you to be mindful as well as have these on your radar because it will give you a chance to at least see some green or be a part of some of the things that's going up. Now, commodities in general, fertilizer, the things I talked to you about over the weekend, wheat, things like that, those will be some of your safer bets during this time. But listen to this, guys. When you've been in this game a long time, they have their seasons, they had their moments where they do have runs like they're having now. What I've always noticed though, is that they come to an end and then they start coming back down hard. Now, I'm not saying the end is in sight. However, what I'm saying is be, be able to be and be ready to play them, okay? And 
if you do get into them, if you do capitalize on them and make some money, then you guys got to be satisfied and content because commodities don't stay up forever. As soon as they get their act together in the White House, as soon as they get their act together in the Senate and in Congress and with policies around all of this stuff that's going on, once they do get it right, they will get those plays to come back down, okay? That's just the nature of the beast. Know that that comes to territory. Embrace that that comes to territory, but use it to your advantage to make money in the near in short term okay listen guys we got a market that's going to be down i wanted to make sure that i kind of touched on it so you guys know what to expect stop letting this game catch you off guard okay it, it does two things it either goes up or it goes down know that that comes with the territory you guys are in a bear market right now and your indices are reaching correction territory okay so that's just a down market in nature, but it's really a buying opportunity for investors, especially those of you with the one, two, three year outlook. Guys, you're gonna do your thing on today and be greatly rewarded down the road, meaning one, three years from now, okay? That's how you wanna set yourself up. I talked, doing my cloth talk last night to my late night go-getters about the simple fact of using this as a buying opportunity of a lifetime. Guys, none of us, none of us, some of the nicest in the game, none of us can time the bottom, okay? All you can do is have a conviction on, you know what? I like this stock. I like this company. I believe where it's going to go in the future. I'm staking my claim right here. Boom, okay? And that's what you do, all right? And then you you live with the fact, if you're not putting stop losses on things like that, you live with the fact that it, you might have got it wrong and it might go down a little further, but you're not caring about that because you're thinking one to three years from now, where would this play be, okay? Perspective matters, man. It's everything, okay? And, it, and it's important to have a championship mindset during these times, all right? I'm just gonna keep smashing the game. I'm gonna keep applying pressure. I'm going to keep showing up for you guys, giving you guys the proper guidance on how to invest, how to navigate during these times, okay? You got to be you got to be nimble though. You got to be flexible. Please embrace that during this time. It don't mean that the plays you got won't eventually pan out. It just means some of what you got will be a casualty of what's going on. Interest rates. These interest rates hike that's coming up. Inflation this war in Ru with Russia and Ukraine, okay? All those things are the catalyst for why your stocks are, individual stocks are going through the pain, okay? Embrace it. Know, know the reason, know who your enemy really is, the real enemy, okay? And then from there, guys, be ready to capitalize on it. I get excited about these times, man, because I'm telling you, you've been doing this long enough, you see how you come out on the other side of it. And that's what I get most excited about. Listen, guys, I won't hold you guys up. Had to just let you guys know what just came down the pipe today and how we as a family will navigate these waters and what type of plays we will be in this week to make sure that we are capitalizing on what's going to be running up, all right? We make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.